so I wanted to talk about this time dilation, if you could tell us more about it, because this is like my spiel. You know, this is my domain. Like, I live for it. I have a friend that actually wrote papers, a really good friend that I uh, look up to, where, you know, wrote a paper on how the perception of time uh, can be altered depending on your age, how when you're young, time looks really slow, but when you're old, you can pretty much, and I quote him, see the grass grow. Like, talk about how the manipulation of time or uh, the speed or the slowing down assists in the way they maneuver how we respond to things. Yes, yeah, so, so kind of the big thing to keep in mind, the hard concept, I think, for to wrap your head around or for anybody to wrap your head around is that uh, time is a dynamic force controlled by gravity, not necessarily this linear concept thing that we've always been raised to believe it was. So you can use gravitational fields to uh, control time one way or another. And uh, where that applies into some of this quantum technology that I'm talking about is uh, with graphene. So Einstein had this rule, or Einstein struggled with the idea of time travel because there's this law of physics that um, for every action, there has to be an equal and opposite reaction. And Einstein knew that to uh, go faster than the, or to alter the speed of time, you'd have to go faster than the speed of light. And he put his equations together and kind of theorized that the amount of force it would take you to propel you that fast would be, if you had any mass whatsoever, it would be nearly infinite, right? So it was kind of a, a really impossible problem to solve. And how we get around that in quantum computing is that there's this uh, new material, a uh, newish material called graphene. And what that is, is that is a layer of graphite shaved to one atom thick. And when it's electrified in the right way, that graphene uh, loses its mass. So we can kind of beat that physics law of we would need an infinite amount of energy to make that thing go faster than the speed of light by making it not have mass anymore. Okay, so... Or making it appear as if it doesn't have mass. So, Austin, uh, my...